guys, this is Stacy from Fit with Stacy, and welcome back for another video, an aqua video using our pool noodle. So, before we get started, go get your pool noodle, then go ahead and get yourself warmed up for our routine. I do not have a warm up for you today, it's just gonna go right into some of our exercises. So, please just take five minutes and just do some light swimming around the pool, some jogging, walking, anything you wanna do, just to get your body ready before the video. Um, make sure that you also stretch at the end of the video too. It's important that you do both. You always want to warm up and you always want to stretch at the end and bring your body back to normal with a nice cool down at the end. Okay, <clears throat> so today we're going to use this versatile pool noodle and at the end we're going to also probably use two pool noodles. So if you have a second one, go ahead and bring it out. Uh, this is a small one. If you have two, you can always double them up and use two at a time for extra resistance or if you ever need to lay into it, it'll help float you a little bit more for some more buoyancy. So two is not a bad thing either. Okay, so we're just gonna do some small warming up. We're gonna use the noodle with the warming up, but please also, like I said, do some warm up first. So you're gonna take the noodle, just putting it out in front of you, not putting any pressure onto the noodle except just leaning on it. I just want you to start with some knee drives here. Just take and high knees, you're gonna do the right side. Let's do 10 of them. Yeah, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Last one, found a few times in the center, switch to other leg. Let's go for 10 on the left, and 10, nine, just four more. All right, I think those legs are ready for our first exercise with the noodle. Okay, so we're bounding off the bottom, which just means coming up and down off the bottom, Heels come down, make sure those heels come down. You don't want to stand tiptoes all the time. So, we're gonna get ready for this first one. Step back, we're gonna take the foot back into a lunge, and then we're gonna drive it in for a knee drive. So let's go those high knees. High knees, pull down. We got 10, nine, eight, drive the knees, seven, six, keep breathing. Last one, down a few times here. Same thing, other side. Step back, get ready for 10. Drive them in, nine. It's a beautiful day here, only 110 today. I'm out in sunny Arizona, you guys. It's lovely though, let's do our last one here, I think that's 10. All right, and bound again. Okay, so. We're gonna go do some more of those high knees. So just start doing high knees with a push pull. Push pull, high knees. Try to keep the water moving around. And as you do those high knees, take it to the side. High knees, jog to the side. High knees, jog to the other side with a push pull. High knees, jog. Side to side. So we're getting a little lateral movement now. So I'm warming up the side of your body here with those lateral moves. Lateral means side to side. Push pull. You start feeling yourself, getting a little bit of our cardio. If you push pull and go nice fast high knees to jog. Now try those high knee jogs forward and back. So forward towards me and back away from me. High knees, forward towards me, push pull. And back away, push pull. Now we're doing this to make turbulence. We want that water moving around. You're fighting that water as you go forward and as you go backwards. Fight that water. Working harder that way. Take it forward one more time. Take it backward one more time. Now take it to the side. Doesn't matter which side. One side. Take it to the other side. And one more time. Each side. Push pull. Alright, now come back to your spot and do some bounding. Up and down, bounding. Alright, a little cardio there, yes. Okay, now we're gonna do some inward movements here with the legs. You take the noodle off the side, using this leg and off to the side over here. Just gonna drag it in, touch the leg, lift the knee up, bring it in, and touch the knee if you can. If you can't touch the knee with the noodle, that's okay. We're trying to get those knees high. That's all it's coming down to, higher knees. And a little inward movement with the leg if you want. Now if you have hip issues, 
And then you can stay up where it feels comfortable. You don't have to ever cross the midline or take it out too far, stay in your range of motion. Just driving it in for a little extra movement. Good, and I'm just tapping the foot down on this one. Now try it on the other side. Bring the knee in a little bit, bring the noodle in. Bring it in, just a little tapping down, tap down, tap down, tap down. It's that rotation to get for the spine there too. Okay, let's do two more. Concept, but I want you to step back bigger this time, more of a lunge. Take the noodle off to the side in that rainbow shape. You're going to lunge, drive the knee in, drive across that midline if you can, drive your noodle into the midline as well. Bring them together for a roundhouse knee drive. A roundhouse knee drive. Drive the knee. So now we're getting more rotation, a bigger step back. And let's go for six and five. Last two on this side, and one. Can we give it 10 on the other side? Let's go for 10, step back big on the other side, and 10, nine, breathe through them. Don't swallow water. You got five here, about halfway. Taking that noodle, keeping it still in front of you. Let's work the back side. We've done a lot of forward driving. Let's do some back driving. So start with your bounding first. You always want to keep some kind of movement between your exercises there so you don't cool down. Especially if you got cold water. I don't have that problem today. Because like I said, I'm in Arizona. So this water is pretty warm for me. But yours may not be. So try to keep movement in between each of our things that we're doing. All right, so you got to hold that noodle. Gentle hold, but a nice craft. So at the same time, give me a kick back with the right and the left leg as you push the noodle forward. So you got a right, drive it in, and then a left, push through the water, push through the foot, push in, push in, push. Alternating the feet as you push. Now, you can stay just like this, or you can actually pop, push, pop, Push, pop, push, pop, push. A little down in the center. A little extra turbulent. Always switching feet here. Pushing. One more time each leg. All right. Now, paint your feet. Let's just do a little bit of our abdominals here, especially those obliques, the sides of the body that make us twist there. Okay, holding on to your noodle, plant your feet to the bottom so that you can touch the bottom. Take your noodle, we'll start to one side, and you want to drag it across with some rotation. So your upper body is what's moving. So you're going to drag it across, pushing down with the back arm. Drag it across, push down, drag it across, push down. So you want to submerge that noodle down into the water so you can feel it working. Your knees are soft. If you can get those shoulders down into the water a little bit more, that would be good too. You always want to try to get yourself deep enough down in the water to protect the joints that you're working on. So if you're working on your shoulders, you definitely would like to have those shoulders in the water whenever you can. Let's go four more across. Nice big movement. And here's three. And two. Last one each side. And push. Beautiful. Let's take this to some butt kickers. Do you remember what those are? Now you have your noodle in front of you. Your feet come up behind you. So you're trying to kick yourself in the butt. That's what it really is, right? Also called a hamstring curl. So you're bouncing off the bottom from foot to foot. And you can make it a big bounce or it can be a small bounce. And as you bounce, push down, push down. And now to make it a little bit bigger, you're going to bounce and make a circle. So hamstring butt kickers here. Bounce and push, bounce and push, heels up, heels up, and turn in a circle. Then once you get one circle, go the other way, around the other circle. Circle around, and push down. Push down, circle around. 
Now, in the beginning, we're going forward and backwards. So, butt kick her forward towards me. Now, butt kick her backwards. All the way. Keep those feet up nice and high. Now, butt kick her forward. Can you butt kick to the side? Sideways movement. So, try to have fun with your movement. Move sideways, forwards, backs, and circle to add that turbulence. The turbulence is what's going to make you have more resistance. That works you harder. That gives you more of your cardio. A little bit more of that strength thrown in here. Now we'll go in one more circle. One clockwise, one counterclockwise. Heels up. Take it the other way. All right, now take it down. Now bring it down to that bounding, both feet off the bottom, gentle, like a little squat, soft knees, bounding, or it could even be just some nice little jog in the water, gentle jog. Okay, now we're gonna show you something. I'm gonna grab my second noodle at this point. You can stay with one noodle. Totally up to you. Maybe you have one of those thicker noodles. You don't need a second noodle. Now, a little bit of rotation that we did before. We're gonna lean into your noodles on the side. So your feet come out to the other side. And then we should scissor kick and make your scissors go into a circle. So scissor kick into a circle and go around in your circle. Scissor kick. Use your arms too. Back and forth to the arms. Circle around. Go two times one way first. Now, switch directions on the other side. Two times the other way. Circle around. You can go any direction you want. Mix it up. Just side into a circle, circle, circle. Trying to get the side abs, the side, kick those legs. You're working on your up sides, your sides or your obliques. You want to make sure you work those obliques there. So, some circles this way, some circles that way. Some on each side of the body. Make sure you get both sides. It's important that you always try to keep each side balanced out. Okay, now, uh, again, you can always keep two noodles for extra buoyancy. This one, you keep them underneath your arms. It's harder to see this video because I'm down a little deeper with this one. But I would like you to keep your feet together, heels together. You're going to tuck the knees in, but a little lean back. So let's put the noodle behind us so that way the heads don't get in the water too much. Okay, so you're just going to lean back into your noodle and you're going to keep your feet together, tuck them in, tuck them in. Froggy. Now, for these, you put your feet together, pull them in nice and wide, so that way it doesn't splash you so much in the face. You're gonna wanna go across the distance to your pool, then back. Go across the pool and back, do it two times. Cross and back, bring the feet together. So on the way back, it's just gonna be doing the same thing. Feet together, feet together, knees out to the side, feet together. Back and forth. All right. Now, let's try our two noodles here. Take your noodles, put them on both sides. If you only have one noodle, you can always do one. If you have two, you're just gonna work both sides at the same time. If you're doing one, you're gonna get a little extra core work because your body's stabilizing on the opposite side. So for here, we're gonna just do our lateral raises. You can do push downs, anything. You got two noodles, anything you can do on both sides. Plant your feet down. You can do lifts on both sides, down and up. Get down into the water deep enough that way you can feel the shoulders in the water because you're working the shoulder joints at this point with those lateral raises. Lifting and lowering, trying not to get all the way up to the surface of the water. Breathing through it. When I say breathing through it, I just mean yeah, no holding breath. So whatever it takes to not hold your breath, if you need to put on some nice fun music and just sing, crank out those tunes, whatever you need to do so that way you're breathing, because if you're singing, it means you're breathing. I just don't want you to hold your breath. A lot of people concentrate and they hold their breath as they exercise, and that's definitely not what you're gonna do to get a good workout, because holding your breath is not good when you exercise. Okay, let's do four more, just raising and lowering to the side. You're getting a good core workout too here, trying to keep it stable. And our last one. Now take it to a jog and side pushes down on both sides, jog and push down. Using the triceps here with those push downs. 
push down, push down. And you can take that jog as fast or slow as you want. So maybe you want to crank it up a little faster and push it harder. Feel free. Whatever it takes today, right? Push, push, push. Challenge yourself, though. Make sure you always challenge yourself a little bit. That's where you see the progress. All right. Now, so let's just finish it off a little bit of, I call it a float run. Take those noodles, put them under your armpits, sink into it so your feet are not touching the floor or they're barely, barely, barely touching the floor. And you're floating. And then you can either run, jog those feet as fast as you can, wide, narrow, wide, narrow, out and in, wide, narrow, just like you're treading water, but you don't have to use the arms here, you're holding on. Good, give me four seconds, three, two, one. Now, take the feet forward and back in a cross country ski, same thing, keep the knees tucked and go forward and back, forward and back cross country legs for eight finish strong let's finish seven six five four three two and one break out of that all right you guys that was a little extra cardio workout for you today using those lovely noodles that i love so much you know why i love them so much they're really cheap one buck and look at all the stuff you can do with it, right? No need for expensive, fancy equipment. Noodles work just fine. All right, you guys, you have a lovely day. I'll be seeing you really soon. Take care, and this is Stacy of Fitness Stacy. Please like my video, please subscribe below, I appreciate it. Thanks, you guys, bye-bye.